Hey guys, <coughs> recently I bought myself a iOptron Skyguider Pro, but here on Southern Hemisphere I found it tricky to find Polaris. So I decided to upgrade with iPolar uh, from the same company, which is supposed to be electronic thingy, uh, helping me to uh, point the Skyguider on Polaris. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at how to install it. Uh, for the whole process, we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and set of three Allen keys. So first, we, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unscrew this this cap, and we're gonna loosen two screws on the top with the biggest one. and two smaller one which are here from the front the black ones on the top that's a different size of allen key of course why to make it simple but at least all the screws are sort of unique sort of specific so you know which screw goes where so the only black ones goes from the front, the biggest silver ones go from the top, and then the inside part is fairly easy. At this point you're probably gonna lose the rubber buttons, don't worry about them, you can put them back later. Alright, now we're gonna unplug those connectors, just take it on the cables and wiggle it to the sides. There is a LED right next to it goes a bit harder so what I like to do is just help myself with the Phillips head screwdriver to get where I can't reach with my fingers that's it those two are loose now we can unscrew those silver ones on the top there's one here and one on the other side just where the switch button is so we're going to loosen those. After we do that, the board is going to be pretty much freely moving. On some videos I watched which didn't show the specific screws and the whole process, I noticed that the board should go easily out. It doesn't in my case, might be just tenth of a millimeter difference or maybe they loosened the motor, which I just didn't notice. So this motor is held by two screws, which are right here. So what I figured out is if we loosen them, we don't even need to take them out completely. If we just loosen them and give the motor a bit of a play, then the board is gonna go much easier out. So now the board is out. There is one more connector or a power cable or whatever that is. That's probably for the LED. Again, I'm gonna loosen it with a flat head screwdriver just to make my life a bit easier. Once that one is out, the whole board comes out. There's one last board, which is down here just where the scope is. So we're gonna loosen that one as well. Actually, take it out completely, because we need to get to the screws which are holding the scope itself. Don't really worry about how the board goes in. Uh, Probably doesn't matter. It's just the illuminating of the scope. But whatever, the connector is on the left side. <laughs> if you're not if you're not sure, you can take a picture of every part you taking apart, just to make you feel more secure about knowing how to put everything back. 
Okay. Now when we have that out, we're going to loosen the clutch so the scope is freely moving and through this hole you're going to see another set of screws. So the screws which you are after are the one which are on a thread. You will notice a thread on the scope. So there is there are, there are two screws just through the thread. Don't take them out completely, just loosen them. So nothing really happens if you take them out, but it's a bit tricky to put them back as the thread actually stays in. Now we can take out the scope and we can insert the eye polar. If you want, it goes all the way in, but that's not what you want. If it's all the way in, you can't access the the cable. So leave it sticking out a bit and tighten the screws. Tighten the screws back. As I said before, there's two of them. And that's it. We are ready to go. All you need to do is just assemble it back. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video or made it helpful. Have a good one. Clear sky, guys.